We uh, apologise for the very small delay. We have unfortunately missed the hard point. Small glitch in the matrix caused us not to be able to view that one. But I can assure you, infused one, I think it's something like 250 to 90. Um, I was out here, you know, saving the day so I didn't get the exact score. Well, saving the day? Well, I figured I might as well give someone might as well get you, credit for you it. You walked about 10 feet over there, talked, and then came back when it was ready. Hey, sometimes you've got to do the hard work. That's how it is. Oh, there you go, 250 to 85. There's the exact score. Well, there you go. So you did do it. I was close. Oh, okay. Close enough. Anyway, infused when the first battle in uh, the fashion we expected. Yeah. It looks as if it was very, very strong. Uh, we did, unfortunately, have an issue with patching. Uh, I'm not sure how it actually happened, but this is going to be evac up like, coming up next. Um, which is a map that has interested me because right at the beginning of the game, you have that one side. I, I actually forget. I, I know which side it is, but I forgot which team actually gets a hold of it. Um, this is great so far. Keep breaking the Yeah, no, 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 okay. <laughs> it's uh, on the side where you push down the left hand side and you can get up on, on top of the building and push it in and you can get the uplink points very, very easily. That seemed to be the one dominant side yeah. in the first few months of the game. And it's not really evened itself up. I think both, like, as teams have learned how to play the game. It's no, I agree here. I mean, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, I, d I, I understand what you mean, although you went around it in the worst way possible. Yes, I did, yes. Um, for me, this is one of these ones here where. It comes down to the specialist who plays again. We see it so often. I mean, this, funny enough, Uplink has evolved. The meta of Uplink has evolved from this game's very start, where we saw heavy, heavy slaying required to get the drone anywhere, um, to a lot more of these very specialized pushes. Teams really kind of looking for that control before they consider doing anything. Teams are playing a lot more tactically than they used to as well. Um, and it's one of the reasons that the actual specialists have come so much more to the fore in terms of actually making those plays. However, let's go oh. into the banner protect. Now, that first one actually coming up, wow, wow, MR6, wow. instantly protected by Urban. <laughs> Urban wants his pistol. How dare you take it away from him, Bulldog? You know, I seen Marky V protect that in their first game this weekend, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't really surprise me that's happened again. It's also strong for Infused. Every single member of that team can use it very, very well. Pick one greed. Oh, interesting. Coming in as a ban. That is interesting. Clearly want to throw the infused board off the game. Now, I don't disagree with this. If I was Bulldog, I'd be sitting there going, this team is better than us, right? We know this. Everyone at home knows this. The casters know this. The fans know this. Their parents know this. Um, so we don't want to play infused at their own game. If we play infused at infused game, we're going to lose. So... Is there anything we can do to throw them off a little bit? After Ben Aban, obviously. I mean, yeah, I mean, see back coupling. That's, yeah, that's standard. I mean, it's like literally standard. Then comes the bangs, concussions yeah. and flashbangs. That's that's usual by teams that are very confident in their gun skill. They want to throw this one down. Overclock gone down as well mm, by Fallon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing too surprising really. I mean, the perk one greed's a bit of a strange one, but interestingly enough, PD's taking down high caliber. Pado gets to choose whether or not they play with rapid fire. If it is, it's going to be a, a very crazy moment. Oh, no, he's going to take it. He's taking it down. He says, nothing too crazy. I'm good. Just, just keep it normal. Well, as you move into the specialist draft, the ban and protect below there for your screen. On your screen, apologies. No uh, specialist ban. So overdrive, active yeah. camo, heat wave, and kinetic. They could all come out. Yeah, the overdrive fact, is going to come out. I'd imagine we'll see a kinetic armor as well. Scythe coming out. That's that's useful. Um, I actually thought it was gravity spikes. Holding down it's going to be overdrive. Um, kinetic armor. Gravity spikes would camo. make no sense in this game, Rod. Hey, you never know. But it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be a terrible pick. Yeah. Um, I am favoring, uh, funny enough, the less lethals again. It looks like Bulldog have gone for the lethals. Didn't really actually play out in that half point game from what I understand. I mean, Burnsy's going with a scythe there. He needs to get control of glass and use that effectively. Or I just, it's a I wasted just, pick. I, it's, especially with some of the sight lines on this map. It's very, very difficult. The amount of corners and kind of that, the way you actually have to get to the point here. Very, very difficult to make a play with it. Um, I do actually favour Infuse's yeah, pick. Yeah, 1 million percent. Almost every single one of those can be used to get points. That's basically what they're used for. Yeah. Heatwave, right. obviously, less so. Um, that's more to try to win that gun or push someone out. We have some people who end up getting points off it. But it's not Active camo and kinetic, you know, clearly. I mean, camo is the most powerful one out of all of those, in my opinion, on Uplink. Um, Maybe Overdrive, actually. Now yeah, Overdrive. Overdrive, sorry. Overdrive, sorry. Overdrive, Overdrive, Active Camo, Kinetic, Heatwave, okay. Active Camo is obviously very, very useful. Kinetic Armor, the same sort of sense as Active Camo gives you that yeah. potential invulnerability for five seconds or so. So, I mean, that's obviously code to make the difference when people are trying to get the points. Well, if you've ever tried shooting someone with Kinetic Armor and Drone Armor, uh, it's, it's difficult, to say the least. Yep, it takes a while. But, I mean, Active Camo, I mean, have you ever tried to shoot anybody you can't see? 
Hey, <laughs> when, I, when I'm playing, it looks like I'm always shooting at people I can't see. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I wasn't going to say that, but never mind. Hey, no problem, negative 104. Um, interestingly enough, it does seem like the guys from Bulldog are ready way in advance here, so clearly this is something that they, they, they know exactly what they're doing here. Infuse, still taking the time. I wonder what classes we're going to see out of them. Why did you have to bring that up? Well, hey, a lot of new viewers will not know of your history of going negative 104 in an event. Yeah, right. I want to talk to you guys about objective work. Okay. Yeah. Objective is yeah. very, very important. Objectively, you're but awful. Objectively, <laughs> objectively, as a team, we played bad that weekend. We were seeded third, and we That's, finished. If you're listening at home, this is the definition of teamwork. He didn't play badly. He <laughs> played badly. No, we all played badly. <laughs> we, we, we. Actually, just take online. responsibility. We mate. we were given teams L's online, man. We were fire. Given teams L's online, man. Yeah, just, just yeah. Fun. You know, like the husky voice is coming out. I'm I'm going full northern at the minute. All right. Well, this game is about to get underway. It is Infused versus Bulldog, and it's Evac Uplink. Thank now, God. I am heavily favouring Infused for this one. Um, I do think this is going to be quite one-sided. Um, something probably like 15 to five. I think that's fair. Yeah, I'm going to throw that out there. That's kind of a guess. It's actually magical that we've managed to get in the game this time. We have. It's, Here we it's go. great. Uh, I would say, can we go on board with Zero first? I want to see uh, what sort of push he makes first and what he's using. I will do as soon as he spawns in. God damn it, Trey. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh, interesting. ICR. ICR. This is what I talked about. Oh, right, you know okay. when I was talking about them making up uh, classes uh, and taking a little bit longer than we were look, expecting them to take? This is the reason. They've, they've changed, changed the game. ICR, of course, actually got a, a buff in the last patch. Super accurate now. Lock it's always been pretty it's accurate. It's always been really accurate, but now it's like a laser. Well, let's see what Zero can do with this now. It has been two kills picked up by Pado with the M8. Alongside Glasso Control, originally is going to go over towards Bulldog. On board with Alan J inside very there now. Very slow here. Yeah, very, very slow. I think they're just trying to... They're going to lose control if they don't run with yeah. it. I'm surprised oh, Alan J oh, didn't go. The extension. If Hold on. Can. Keep oh, running. Oh. He doesn't know. He you know what, that's a, that this. was dangerous by Infuse. They really pushed in there, tried to get too aggressive. He should still be able to put a point in here. And that should He's be one of Bulldog. Very well played. Trey Zera is going to come in there with a kill on Alan J as well. But at the same time, you would look at Infuse there and say, it was a bit of a crazy overextension by them all the way through. Yeah. Point. I was kind of curious to see what they're doing. Fallon already kind of putting them to pain. He is going to go down, however. And now they're spawning in. It looks like Marky B is actually holding this card. However, his teammates can't mark it, get him towards him. Marky B's 4-0, and, and he's trying to hold this one down. Oh. Oh. That would have been unfortunate. Still, alive. Still Marky B raining bombs, 5-0 and now. He's going to be looking... He's still going to start thinking streaks. Team now goes in, bringing back 2-1 to one here in Fuse. This is such a dangerous position for Marky B to be in for Bulldog because he can just cause so much havoc up there. He can literally run this the whole way through glass over and over again. They li literally need to concentrate their efforts on getting rid of Marky B. When he's doing that with the MR6, it's not going to happen. Bulldog, do you have... Oh, he's away. The board. They're away. Fallon's oh, wow. yeah, away. Once again, the overextension's coming in, so Infused are going to have to get back there. Marky B stayed up in that position. Maybe Burnsy. one here, but I think he's going to be challenged. Pato's yeah. actually coming in, trying to disrupt them there, but no. Knock Down they go. Will be a reset. Uh, Marky, I've got to check for Marky me, B when he spawns back up. Didn't get any streaks. For me, I want to point out the fact that Burnsy went back for Marky B. Would you have done that in that situation? For me, I think um, he needs to support his team. Marky B's not going to do anything from there. Well, I think, I think realistically, well. Bulldog in that scenario, we're sitting there going, oh, we should have this. We have enough distractions to make oh, wow. it through. They just didn't expect to lose that many gunfights. And as you see, they go down again here. PD will now grab control of the drone, trying to push this one forward just a little bit, and now has enough bodies in front of him to make this a two-point play. Actually going underneath. You just see a player there. Sup? Goes for the smack, says, thank you very much. My name is Petey, and I'm scoring here. Yeah, he just literally does what he wants from time to time, Petey. Picking up more points there. Four and Fuse, four to one for them now. Looking towards the scoreboard, though, Marky B is really causing problems for Bulldog. Eight and two from him. He's held down all the positions that he needs to time and time again. Trey is going to pick oh, up the three as well with zero. the ICR. It's so, so accurate. Zero shots missed from zero there. Active camo in hand as well. Pops that off. That should be about. another two, two points. Point from that. It, you Easy. know what? Still got it. Got to pick up a kill as well. Zero. What I really, really like about Infuse is they can all do it all. You know the objective work. They're smart with that. They all got great shots. They all got great awareness. Map movement is phenomenal. And like every single player can do every <laughs> single job. Eight to Full one streaks. is the score. Cerberus in hand for zero, and that is spelling trouble for Bulldog. And down they go again. Pity will run this one away. It's an overextension actually coming in from Bulldog. Bulldog Ooh. trying to slow this one down. But it doesn't matter. Zero eventually will go down. Full streaks for him. Urban now cutting back. He knows the overextension is coming in. He's going to go down as well. Infuse will now sit, and they will wait for this push. 
I'm going to sit back here. As said, just wait for Bulldog coming in. On board with PD now, just trying to scout out. Knows. Trying to have a look around. He has got himself in the right position. Doesn't have the VMP in hand. Well, Burns doesn't dangerous. know where to go. Burns has no idea where to go. Every you time see, he tries to push an area, he knows there's either a player there <laughs> or his teammates are going down. Again, he's all alone. No man's land. Absolute no man's land. Yeah, in that position, you need to be making movements as a team. Oh, a little bit of cut time in there. Does end up getting Marky killed. Unfortunately, yeah, as said, they need to move around as a team. It seemed as if Bulldog was just sort of trying to dictate which way they wanted to go, but it was never being communicated to the rest of the team, and people just go down left, right, and center at this moment of time, infused, looking very, very strong, unlike my vocal cords. PD looking to try and support his teammates there, has him one. Little, someone should be able to challenge him here. Incoming Hellstorm, PD's now probably going to just push forward, look to make this. He's going to pick up Kinetic as well, picks down that kill, now looking for the chokes. Is he going to take the pass? I don't think he is. He has to push forward and let oh, Urban yeah. take it. He predicted that too early. I thought he was going to I wonder if he's let Urban there. take that because Urban's fairly close to streaks. Oh, and then he picks up the kill with the Kuda as well. Does now have that specialist ability. Has Monkey yeah. dropped his server somewhere? Has he? That was a not zero with it. Was it zero with the Cerberus? Yeah, Monkey did not. I think it was zero, so it was zero. That's so nice by Monkey there. M8 then whips out the MR6. Could go for the one here. Interesting to notice that Infuse don't care about one point plays. No, it is 12-1 at the moment. They're quite happy to just continue to run this you two see, in. see, this is what I was on about. At the beginning of the game, this was such a favoured side that infused her on. But it, it tended to relax off a little bit, if you yeah, like, well, you, as you, it's you, I think on, it's because you've seen... I think now people are finding out where you can get those one-pointers in from. It's yeah, really uh, changed how people are I actually playing this game. I don't think Bulldog are one of those teams. <laughs> well, in fairness to Bulldog, we, we said this before we came into this game here. Infused are one of the hot favourites oh, to take, you Absolutely. know, everything. Absolutely, um, yeah, 40 in so one So this is nothing point. against Bulldog. I mean, if you're Bulldog, you're sitting there this is a, this is a no-lose scenario for them. If they if they do great versus Infuse, they beat Infuse, it's fantastic. If they lose versus Infuse, no one expected them to win. No. So it's, it's I mean, one of the these ones I mean, the game that needed to win was against Enraged. It was against Enraged. But they didn't have a chance there, yeah, unfortunately. I mean, but now Enraged surely should probably win their last game and go through. Bulldog, with one win and two losses, are not going to advance. No, but however, let's actually start on board with him. On board with Pado, he's not had the greatest game so far. He's 5 and 12. Um, I'm a big fan of this man. He seems to have a really good start, actually, if I remember correctly, back at I Series. If anyone's been um, good for Bulldog, it's Fal is it Fallon? I don't want to call him Fox alone. Fallon. Is it, yeah, you know, he's played quite well. 12 and 14 from him, but it's been sort of. A um, little bit of control there from Pado. Not quite able to hold it long enough, though. Fallon, though, coming in, and it looks like he's been heat waved. He's just trying to bounce away, and he is going to end up shutting that one down with the help of Burnsy. And now they have it. Here comes the overextension. Infused, reeling. Now have to try and find out if they can stop this push here. I wonder if he's going to dip off the side. Uh, I think he just really has to go for broke here. No, Get this down very quickly. He's going for one by the look of it. Oh, he needs more than one, I'll tell you that. Overdrive now. maybe? You could potentially, if you're going to pop it, it would be any time now. Again, it just seems as if they're not very decisive at all. Bernsey does pick up another two there. Well, nice I mean, way. it's realistic they need the two. Look how far behind they are. And I think that's what that play meant. But I mean, no burning specialist. He, he clearly had the call from his teammates that they he, thought they were in a good enough position to hold that down and then use the overdrive and maybe get another two back and start actually building up for this comeback. Didn't happen that way, though. Realistically, Bulldog could literally play out in the mines in this half and it would still be... An infused win. 14 and 1 is a big, big score to come back on, especially against a team called Infused, who are top of the CWL Pro League at this moment in time. Yeah, I mean, they're literally backs against the wall, but okay, yeah, but unfortunately, Fallon is going to be there in the middle of the map. They are going to be able to pick up a couple of kills here, so maybe they can answer back, get some more points on the board. But three and a half minutes to go. I think they're really just playing for some consolation points. Well, here we go, Alan Jake trying to get that one, misses the one point play, and that's not something you want to see here. No. It's oh, well, Marky's, Marky's overdriven. Wow. He'll get a nosebleed moving that far up the map. Well, let's, see, let's see how if he can make this one count, though. I'm yeah, not sure they were expecting him to go quite this quickly. Marky B might be able to get a two here. Not able to shut him down in time. They were just a little bit off from shutting down Marky there. He goes to 16 and 1. Well, on board with zero now. Let's see if we can replicate some of the form we've seen him in with the ICR before. PD pops Kinetic on. makes one. Not going to make the set because there is an HCXD right in the way. It does eventually make that one now on the Burnsy. On board with PD now, still has the kinetic armor, does eventually well, go down. The worst thing about that is, Pete, you could have, you know, yeah. you'd expect Pete to make those two kills without kinetic, with kinetic, it's like a god walking the earth. Oh, yeah, I know. I mean, you can only literally put bullets in his head when he can drop you as quickly Urban's as Pete. challenging does. three players here, confidence <laughs> from Urban. I think the confidence sort of um, is a reflected in the scoreline at this moment in time. 16 to 1 is the score to infuse at the moment, looking very, very good for them. Uh, I, there's not really much else to say at the moment. I mean, you know, Infused have really made this look easy. 
There's been it a is, couple it of... views do seem to have, have slowed down just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean they, it's they, the side they're on as well, isn't well, it? Well, take plays like that, for instance. Zero knew he had no cover, knew nobody was going to back him up, and still went for it, because no matter what happens, if he makes a mistake, so much breathing room, he can do what he likes. Alan, uh, just keep holding this drone. Just keep hold of it. They, they won't be able to score anymore if you have the drone. It's fine, but Palo is actually well, making that, kills over making glass, a few kills so, here. Yeah, here we go, maybe Alan can if push can make, over. Um, if Palo can make one more, he might overdrive this and go, but not quite able to. Palo goes down as well. Burnsy going to try and sit here. ICR coming out, trying to make a few more kills, not quite able to either. Urban will shut him down. Urban will grab the drone and Infuse going for a push. Zero's in a dangerous position. Yeah, they may be looking for the pass. Oh, Zero just going to cause all sorts of problems. The answer is the second one. He does take down one. Pato does take him down, but that's allowed PD to move up into a better armor. position. That is going to be one point for PD very yeah. easily and gets beat down by Pato. But looking at the scoreline, PD will not care about that. 17 to 1. And Infuse are surely on their way to a 2 0 victory.